Hi, I am Venkatesh. Today, I will be presenting our work, Vocalist, an audiovisual synchronization model for lips and voices. The main goal of this work is to detect lip synchronization in speech and singing voice videos. For instance, let us consider the following sequence of video frames and its corresponding audio from a singing voice video. For any matching pairs of video frame sequence and audio, the lip sync detector should be able to tell that the lips motion and the voice are synchronized. Whereas for any unmatched pairs of video frame sequence and audio, the lip sync detector should be able to tell that the lips motion and the voice are not synchronized. In this work, we consider the lip synchronization in speech as well as singing voice videos. To illustrate the differences between speech and singing voice, let us consider the following example. Here are the power spectrograms of speech and singing voice samples with the same lexical content, Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Now, let us listen to a sample of speech and singing voice recorded from the same person. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. We can see the special wavy patterns in the singing voice spectrograms, which are not significant in speech. These wavy patterns are associated with a musical ornamentation element called vibrato, typical of singing voice in the regions where vowels are sustained. The presence of sustained phonemes in singing voice make it harder to detect lip synchronization than in speech. Here is the architecture of our model for lip sync detection. It mainly contains an audio encoder, a visual encoder, and a module for detecting synchronization. The audio encoder is a stack of 2D convolutional layers with residual skip connections that operates on the MEL spectrogram input. The visual encoder is a stack of 3D convolutional layers with residual skip connections that works with RGB frame sequence cropped around mouth. Our synchronization block vocalist is a cross-model audiovisual transformer. It mainly consists of three cross-model transformer encoders. The A2V unit takes in audio features as the query and visual features as the key and value. Whereas in the V2A unit, visual features are passed as the query and the audio features form the key and value inputs. For the hybrid fusion transformer unit, the output of A2V unit forms the query while the key and value are sourced from the output of V2A unit. We train our model for determining audiovisual correspondence in the audiovisual pair of input in a self-supervised training pipeline. A positive example corresponds to an in-sync audiovisual input pair, while the negative example corresponds to the out-of-sync audiovisual input pair. The audiovisual correspondence score needs to be maximized for the positive examples and minimized for the negative examples. Both the positive and negative examples are sampled equally. Our experiments are targeted towards the lip synchronization in speech and singing voice. We also use the lip sync model for the downstream task of singing voice separation. For lip sync in speech, we work with LRS2 dataset. 
The synchronization is said to be correctly identified if the model detects that the offset between the audiovisual input pair is not more than one frame. The detected offset corresponds to the relative displacement between the audiovisual input pair that gives the maximum audiovisual correspondence score. For lip sync in sing singing voice, we consider the a cappella dataset. The evaluation protocol here is the same as that of lip sync in speech, except that the synchronization is said to be correctly identified here if the detected offset between the audiovisual input pair is less than 5 frames. Note that the evaluation criterion here is relaxed than compared to speech because of the challenges introduced by the sustained phonemes in singing voice. For the experiments on singing voice separation, we choose the a cappella dataset. The objective here is to isolate a particular singing voice from the audio mixture, given the target singer's visual frames. Here are the results from the experiments on lip synchronization in speech. Our model vocalist gives the best performance against the listed baselines. However, our model has a much larger number of trainable parameters than the baseline models. Note that all the models considered here are trained on five frame contexts only, which correspond to 0.2 seconds of audio and visual input. For the evaluation on contexts larger than five frames, the offset is determined after averaging the audiovisual correspondence scores over the constituent five frame contexts within the larger context, and then by finding the index corresponding to the maximum score. For example, let us consider the evaluation context of seven frame. There are three different five frame snippets within this input sequence. For each of the five frame snippets, we compute the audiovisual correspondence scores for different offsets between the audio and visual pair of input. We then average the audiovisual correspondence scores across all the snippets. The detected offset corresponds to the index with the highest averaged audiovisual correspondence score. In the case of speech, the synchronization is correctly identified if the offset lies between minus 1 and 1. Now let us look at the results from the experiments on lip sync in singing voice. Instead of SyncNet, we use an improved variant of SyncNet for this experiment and we refer to it as SyncNet star. The war column indicates if the model was trained on variable length input. For example, in the highlighted row, the vocalist model has been trained on variable length input. This means that a model trained on 10 frames input context is used to evaluate on the 10 frame context and so on. Note that the lip sync accuracy in singing voice is much lower than in speech, indicating that the former is a much more challenging task than the latter because of sustained phonemes. The increase of the context window size supposes a larger improvement compared to the speech case. The best results are achieved with a dedicated network trained with singing examples and trained for one second window length. Now, let us consider this real world multi-voice music video.
let us first listen to its original music audio given a target face we are interested in isolating the singing voice corresponding to that target singing face our audiovisual singing voice separation baseline model is ynet mr ynet mr is a unit conditioned by visual features at the bottleneck the network is trained to isolate a target voice from the audio mixture given the frames of the target face cropped around the mouth region the original visual encoder of ynet mr model is a reduced version of mixed convolution 3d resnet in this work we replace the original visual encoder of ynet mr with the visual encoder from our pre-trained lip sync model and we keep the weights of this new visual encoder frozen during the training we refer to this new model as ynet mrv here are the results from the audiovisual singing voice separation experiments the higher values of sdr and sir indicate better performance note that our ynet mrv model gives the best performance against the listed baseline models in terms of sdr and sir metrics note that unlike lrs2 acapella is not a large data set an interesting observation here is that ynet mrv model suffers from overfitting if trained for singing voice separation task on uh, a cappella dataset in an end to end manner but it performs much better than ynet mr on using the weights of the visual encoder trained for lip synchronization task this is a hallmark of usefulness of the visual features learned by the lip synchronization model now let us listen to the estimates of the target voice by ynet mr and ynet mrv models the target voice is silent in the duration between 1.5 seconds and 2.5 seconds our ynet mrv model estimates this silence better than the baseline model here is the summary of this presentation. We propose a new audiovisual transformer based lip voice synchronization model. Our model produces state of the art results in both speech and singing voice. Detecting lip synchronization in singing voice is harder than in speech due to presence of sustained phonemes. Hence, larger context windows are needed to detect lip synchronization in singing voice. Our model learns powerful visual features which are useful for the downstream task of singing voice separation. Thank you. The demos and source code can be accessed through the project webpage.